I'm a marine biologist, so I'm a, um, a professor at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. So that means that I teach. I teach graduate students that are pursuing their PhDs and their master's degrees. I um, teach undergraduates at UC San Diego. Um, but a large part of my job is actually doing science and being a researcher. So we tend to think of globally coral reefs are declining and, you know, what can we do to, to help bring them back? Um, my research team is fortunate enough to be able to go on these expeditions and we board a ship and we go sailing out for weeks on end to the middle of nowhere, literally to the middle of the Pacific Ocean where there are no people. And we go work on these islands where um, people have never lived. There's never been any kind of local human habitation or local human impact. So there's no pollution. These islands have never been fished. Um, there's no deforestation or any kind of coastal development. They offer us an opportunity. It's almost like taking a time machine, right? You, you can see what coral reefs look like in the absence of human impact. And there are very few examples um, remaining on the planet to do that, but these islands that we work in um, have this opportunity to do this. And basically what we found is that if you go far enough away and you go to these islands, these ecosystems, the coral reefs there are thriving. They're some of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. The coral is incredibly healthy. Um, biodiversity is very high. The fish populations are very abundant. They've never been fished, so you're swimming around with, you know, tens or twenties of sharks on any dive, and they're not aggressive big white sharks. You know, they're they're reef sharks, and they're supposed to be there. Um, and so that gives us a lot of hope that um, by managing what people do locally, um, we can potentially bring some of these reef ecosystems back. 